No, what I mean by that is I guess we're all bracing for the Chinese Open this week, as you know. And, in fact, I noticed that the Daily Fix has actually moved in line with CNH moves of last week. Mm. But I guess what's more intriguing before I came in here is, in fact, the Daily Fix, the Spot and CNH are all together at 6.52. So that will then beg the next question of how much money is this costing? So we don't know if this is natural market forces or if there's something going on. We can never quite tell. So there's no message here at all, though, do you think? I think the message is, I don't know if you remember, two years ago it was a one-way bet to six for the, for the CNY. And up until six weeks ago it was a one-way bet to seven. So here we are at six and a half, and I do think we are heading towards seven. I just think the PBOC is exerting a little bit of control on the speculators, and I think the currency will be allowed to appreciate, but it's certainly nothing to do with speculators or reserves. It's just about allowing the currency to move. wanted to get your outlook for the yen as well. We were speaking earlier with uh, Adrian uh, over at UBS, and UBS as a house is short the yen right now. He says right. now is the right time, but your view is that it's too soon to short yen. Is that right? Well, I was here 10 days ago after the surprise negative rates and the yen was at 121. And we said we probably should fade this move. It's, it's gone too far. And I never expected to head to 113. So it is about volatility. It's not about the outlook for the yen. I think the BOJ needs to take a deep breath because a lot of the headlines coming from the PM speaking to the finance minister, speaking to the BOJ, it's almost like they've lost control. So personally, I wouldn't be touching any yen at these levels. And I think we still have a bit more volatility to sort out yet. How soon? When's the right time to touch the end, do you think? When the volatility fades? I would be waiting a good six weeks. I think we're still dealing with... We had summer holidays on our, our side of the world. We had Japanese holidays. We had Chinese holidays. It's almost as if the market's only just coming back now into fully functioning. I would give it another couple of weeks. I think central banks should just keep their mouths shut and let consumers consume, let businesses invest and let monetary policy just take a bit of a backseat for a little while. And very, very quickly, 10 seconds or less, your favourite trade right now, what should we be watching out for? Don't touch Aussie Kiwi. <laughs> Long Aussie Kiwi is okay. a trade that sends us all to the wall. I think it's a great trade, but for the second half of the year.